saw the mouse, one of the smallest members of the forest, was having a pleasant breakfast, his door started to be knocked as if it would break. When the mouse excitedly opened the door, he saw a sad gazelle in front of him. Oh, mouse, you must help me. Something very bad has happened. What's wrong, gazelle? <laughs> the lion. The mouse began to tremble as soon as he heard the lion's name, because he was very afraid of him. Since I am the king of the whole jungle, this is my home too, he said and took my home away from me. And I am homeless now. Everyone I asked for help to get my house back got scared and ran away. Because he's a lion! We're all afraid of him! But you are not like others, Mouse Brother. You are braver and smarter. Please help me! After some thought, the little mouse agreed to help his friend. They set out together. The lion was indeed in a deep sleep in the gazelle's garden. The little mouse wanted to nudge the lion with his giant paw to wake him up. But when the lion moved, he immediately backed away in fear. This time, even though he tried to wake him up by shaking his mane, the lion was snoring so much that the mouse was covering his ears and stayed where he was because of fear. While the little mouse was looking around for a long, thin stick to wake the lion, his tail touched the lion's whisker. The snarling lion suddenly awoke. Uh, achoo! The lion, angry that he woke up from his pleasant sleep, came face to face with the mouse. He got up from where he was lying in anger. Why did you wake me up? Or did you bring me food? Huh? Tell me! Food? No, uh, no, sir. How dare you enter my garden? G gazelle well, um, sir. What happened? She fled to the mountain. Then you should run away too, because now I'm going to devour you! With the roar of the lion, the little mouse was dragged far away from him. The lion continued his sleep from where he left off. The next day, the mouse mustered up his courage and went back to the gazelle's garden. Rawr! Didn't I tell you to stay away from this garden? Yes, yes, you said, but uh... So? I, uh, I was going to ask you if you've, uh, seen the house the hyena built for himself? What's wrong with his house? It's much bigger and more majestic than yours, and it has a huge garden full of trees and beautiful grasses all around. Oh, really? The lion wanted to see that house, which was more flamboyant than the gazelle's house. Come on, take me to the hyena's glorious house. Even though the mouse was trembling with fear, he accepted the lion's request. After a while, they finally arrived at the hyena's house. However, there was neither a magnificent big house nor a garden full of trees. The hyena's house was just a small and very ordinary hole. You liar mouse! Rawr! I'll eat you up! Come here! Rawr! Realizing that he was deceived, the lion ran towards the mouse. Oops! The lion was running over the logs while the mouse was running through the logs. Just as the lion was about to grab the mouse's tail, the little mouse quickly climbed the tree. Please, king of the jungle, it's not my fault! I just wanted to help Gazelle! The lion got even more angry and started shaking the tree with his giant paws. Hurry down, you little mouse! Rawr! 
While the mouse was about to slip between the lion's paws on the swaying tree, a flock of hedgehogs got entangled in the lion's feet. <laughs> get off! Although the lion tried to get rid of the hedgehogs, their thorns kept stinging. Taking advantage of this, the mouse jumped from the tree into the middle of the hedgehog herd and escaped. Just when he thought he had eluded the lion, the mouse heard the thunderous footsteps and threw himself into the slime pool with a fury. However, because he was very light, he successfully landed on the ground again. As for the lion, his feet got stuck in the slime the moment he stepped into the slime pool to catch the little mouse. What's that? Don't move, sir, or you'll sink further! I'm not going to take advice from you! The mouse, who wanted to help the lion, took a piece of branch from the side and held it towards him. Sir, hold on to this branch! I'll pull you out and save you! I don't want to! I'll get out of here myself! However, if the lion saved one of his feet, the other foot went into the mud. And as he struggled, he became covered with mud. And he finally gave up. M mouse I'm sinking! Help! Save me! I want to go back home! Please, hurry up! The mouse collected the largest leaves from the gum tree next to them and laid them one by one on the slime. Hurry, lion! You can step on the leaves and get out! Since the gum leaves are sticky at the bottom, they were not buried in the mud. The lion managed to get to the ground by stepping on the leaves, albeit with difficulty. Oh, mouse! I would have never survived if you hadn't thought about these leaves. I'm sorry for underestimating you. Tell me, what do you want from me, the king of the jungle, the lion? The little mouse asked the lion to give the gazelle her home back. The lion immediately accepted this request. Because thanks to this tiny mouse that saved his life, he understood the value of having a home much better. And so the gazelle has returned to her home with a beautiful garden. The lion has fallen asleep in his den. And the little mouse has returned to his delightful breakfast. And everyone was talking about the great success story of this little member of the forest like epics.